Hello, everybody. I'm Jill Yurko. I'm with the Conrad Orlando. Good afternoon, everyone. And I'm Nadia Shukari. I am with the uh, Waldorf Astoria Orlando. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, we are otherwise known as the Luxury Hiltons of Orlando. Um, so both the Conrad and the Waldorf are right here in the Orlando area. And together, we'd like to present our two properties to you. We'll start with the Conrad. So Conrad Orlando um, is headed up by Sean McCarran, our general manager, myself, Jill Yurko, um, Melissa, um, Melissa Gregoire is our assistant director of sales, and I'm showing you her face because you'll see her throughout my presentation today, and then Samantha Suber. So we are all part of the pre-opening sales team and here to help you in any way possible. So welcome to Conrad Orlando, what's the new contemporary modern luxury hotel coming to the area in December of 2023. So what you're seeing in this rendering is actual front drive of our property. Um, and you see the front porta cache that's there right in front of you. To the left of this photo is actually um, our spa area that's in a separate building, and it also is connected to the property. And then to the right of this is actually a separate group arrival. Um, I'm gonna take you over to our next photo that to give you a side by side and show you where we are right now as comparison to what this rendering is showing. And this gives you a really good perspective of how things are building out right now. That happens to be our Hilton Worldwide Sales regional team <laughs> that's in that photo as well. Um, so I'm gonna take you over to a video to actually give you a little bit more insight to what that looks like as well. Hi everyone and welcome to the beautiful Conrad Orlando. I'm standing here in the front drive right where our guests will arrive to the resort and directly behind me you'll see they poured out our group arrival entrance. This is a separate entrance for any of your group transfers for your Disney um, pick up and drop off as well as any ride share and over here to the left is going to be where our main arrival is for the resort. So let's go inside. So that gives you um, an indication of where we are right now. And again, yes, there's a lot of dirt, but um, it's all coming together quite quickly. And as soon as you walk into the property, you actually walk into this stunning lobby area where you walk in on the third floor of the hotel. So walking in on the third floor, you actually get floor to ceiling windows for four floors then on the back side that gives you gives way to this stunning lagoon on the back side of the property, which truly is the gem of the hotel and how we've situated all of our guest rooms and meeting space to give you um, these prominent views of the lagoon throughout the entirety of the property. So as you walk in on the left hand side, there is actually our registration area. And then if you go further to the left, that takes you to the guest rooms um, and the main elevators to take you up there. And if you are to go to the right, that's actually all of the meeting space to the right. So it's completely separate. Um, and then going down that staircase takes you to our lobby lounge and um, our Sophia's, which is our three meal a day restaurant. But right now I'm gonna take you to the area that's right in back of our registration desks that are right there, which is called our lobby terrace and give you kind of a glimpse of what that looks like right now. Hi everyone, it's me again. And I'm standing here on the lobby terrace, which is located just behind the front desk check-in area. And we're so excited to give you a preview. You are all one of the first to see that we have just started filling our Crystal Lagoon this week. So take a look. Yay, so exciting. <laughs> so you can see the blue is already coming out and it's only a week oh, into same. our filling. Um, it takes, fun fact, it takes 53 days to fill. We only fill it in the evening so that the water temperature is more in line with the water coming out of the line. So um, it's, it's coming together quite quickly and we're so excited. So um, Evermore Bay is the name of our lagoon and it's on the back side of the property there. And this just gives you another orientation of the hotel. And again, gives you great um, information on the separation. So on the left side is all the meeting space. 
everything in the center of the building is our dining areas, our main check-in and arrival areas, um, and everything that is shared. And then on the right side is all of our leisure activations. So we keep it separate on purpose, but you could see there's paddle boarding and kayaking and swimming that's taking place in our lagoon on the back side. And it's surrounded um, by beach on all sides as well. So it's almost like we brought the ocean to Orlando. This is a peek at our standard guest room. This is truly a model room that we have on the property. So if you were to come for a hard hat tour, you would be able to walk around and touch and feel it and get a really good perspective of the size and scope of the hotel room. Um, we've rendered the background in this case, obviously, so you get um, an idea of what it would be like to have a lagoon view. Um, but to in total, we have 433 guest rooms, 61 of them are suites, and then the remainder of our inventory are 50-50 split between kings and queen queens. Um, but just to note, all of our king bedded rooms do have a pull-out sofa, so it's almost as if you have two beds in every guest room. And this is an overview of all of our suites on the property. So um, we do have poolside suites, one which is the Conrad suite that you see in the top left there, which is the size of four of our guest rooms. So this is um, a great place to have like a hospitality for a group that might be there for an incentive um, or a sales meeting that you are right next to the pool and you can have a hospitality in that suite um, and have everyone still gather. The top right um, shows you our family suite, which actually has two bunk beds, bunk beds that are stacked on top of each other that are twin beds. Um, and it actually has a pocket door, so you can lock them in there or <laughs> you can just close it off if you're not gonna use it as well. Um, and then it also has a pull out couch. So you can essentially accommodate up to six people in this one suite. And then bottom left is actually our luxury suite, which is a step above our standard guest room. You can close the pocket doors in between and have a pull-out sofa in there as well with stunning views on our balcony. And then last but not least on the bottom right gives you a view of our presidential, which is on the um, sixth and seventh floors of our property. And they're on the south wing, which essentially gives you views of the pool, the lagoon, and the courtyard because you're wrapped um, in windows on three sides of the suite. So it's quite stunning. It feels like you're right on top of the water. So from here, we're gonna go down the guest room elevators across the lobby and you'll, um, when you come to the other side of the property, you arrive at our signature staircase with this amazing wall um, that transports you as soon as you get here. So our whole property is based on the premise of water and the natural springs. So you'll see a lot of curvy lines like you see in the ceilings here, a lot of light colors like the, um, uh, teak woods that you would find in a beach area, and then lots of blues and greens throughout as well. And this wall also takes you there with a combination of mother of pearl and abalone that's all um, up, down, up and down two floors of this wall. So as soon as you get here, you know that you're in the meeting space. And essentially on the left-hand side, that's the floor you're on. So again, remember our lobby level is on the third floor and that fan that you're looking at sort of in the center of the space is where that signature staircase is. If you go to the right, that's our junior ballroom. If you go to our left, that's our um, grand ballroom. So 6,500 square foot junior and 15,000 square foot grand ballroom with 15 additional breakouts situated between those two floors. So when you go to the right, you come to Jacaranda Prefunction and Terrace, which is our junior ballroom area. And we thought we'd give you a glimpse of what it might look like to have a welcome reception out there. Hello everyone, it's a beautiful day in sunny Florida and I am standing on one of our signature outdoor venues, the Jacaranda Terrace. This is right outside of our junior ballroom and it's perfect for so many different group functions such as receptions, dinners, breaks, breakfast and lunch. You can do so much with this terrace and look at this view. Right now we're panning over to our Lynx golf course. The Lynx course is the tribute to the old course in St. Andrews, Scotland, which is where golf was founded. And that's the view that you get out here on Jacaranda Terrace and all throughout the Jacaranda foyer as it's enclosed with floor to ceiling windows. Another stunning view at Conrad Orlando that you really just can't beat. 
So coming off of the terrace, she had mentioned you have these floor to ceiling windows. So then that brings you right into our ballroom itself. So again, 6,500 square feet. If you leave the, the doors open, you get that um, stunning sunshine that comes through as well. If you turn the corner, you come to our Acacia Ballroom foyer. So instead of going right, you go left. And this is our Grand Ballroom foyer with the stunning terrace here that also overlooks our lagoon. And when you go into, oh, this gives you a comparison of where we are now to the rendering. So it's coming along. And then Acacia Ballroom itself, um, this rendering does not do it justice. Again, it's 15,000 square feet and it's 23 foot ceilings. So actually this picture gives it a much better perspective of the ceiling height that comes with this ballroom. It subdivides into three rooms and then the third section divides into three as well. So some of our other spaces include Juniper, which is sort of like a mini ballroom. It's 4,400 square feet. And I'm going to let Melissa tell you a little bit more about this. Hi, everyone. It's me again. Um, I'm standing here in Plumeria, our mini ballroom. And look how far the construction has come. We have the millwork up. The wall coverings have been placed. The ceilings are finished with all of the lighting installed. And we're getting ready to install our chandeliers. And my favorite feature of this space is the floor to ceiling windows that bring in natural light, enhancing every meeting and event experience. So all of our breakout spaces have natural light. Um, these are a few of our other breakout spaces throughout the property and you see how they have a very modern appeal and the just notice the windows in every single room. We also have some great outdoor space, including a 9,000 square foot event lawn, and that's Leonia Lawn. So this is a great um, rendering of what that shot looks like with staircase coming right off of that grand ballroom down to the lawn um, to make it really convenient to go out there for a dinner event. We do have five restaurants and lounges on site as well. Um, so we have Apero, which is our lobby lounge that I mentioned before that has outdoor seating. Our three meal a day is Sofia's Italian Trattoria with Southern Italian coastal cuisine. Little Spoon is our grab and go that you can see is on the way to that signature wall to the meeting space. And um, Papaya Club is our Polynesian restaurant that's all al fresco dining that sits in between our pool and our lagoon area. And then last but not least is Seba. This is our signature restaurant that's on the rooftop. And when you enter the restaurant, as you see in the top photo, you actually go outside. So it's all open air lounge um, with a retractable roof and you have views of both the um, Magic Kingdom fireworks and the Epcot fireworks. Um, so this is an upscale Mexican cuisine restaurant, um, which really they're there isn't an um, upscale Mexican restaurant in Orlando anywhere, so we feel that we're going to be um, we're going to be used a lot, especially for tequila tastings, which is one of our features in our main lo uh, lounge area. And then just to touch on the amenities, um, uh, Melissa mentioned our Lynx golf course. We also have a secondary golf course on site called the Cypress Course. So they're both Jack Nicholas design 18 holes each. We have our Conrad Kids Club that's um, complimentary to our guests here at the Conrad, as well as an arrival departure lounge. And then transportation to the four um, main Disney theme parks as well. And then we have a fitness center, movement studio, and then our spa and water garden that's on site as well, which has an extensive 10,000 square foot water garden that's all outdoor, um, lush landscaped space where you can go and enjoy wellness outside. And then last but not least, I mentioned the right side of the building on the back side that has our Conrad pool area. So we do have our pool and splash pad, um, and then we do have seven cabanas around the exterior, and then you can see how close that is to our lagoon area. And just to give you perspective, we are part of a larger resort called Evermore Orlando Resort. Um, so this just gives you a perspective of where Conrad sits on the north shore of that eight acre beach area. Um, and then where the two golf courses are on either side of the project. And then Evermore actually um, has villas as well as condo units, as well as homes that they manage across their um, campus. So no individual ownership on the property, but they do um, have them as vacation rentals. Um, and that allows us to have that shared amenity access to the lagoon, as well as um, the water slide that's on the back side. Um, and they do have food and beverage on their side as well that you can charge back to your room at Conrad. 
So that's an overview of the Conrad Orlando. I hope you come and see us sometime soon, whether for a hard hat tour or post opening. Again, our opening is December 5th. So we look forward to hosting any of your groups from um, January of 24 and beyond. Awesome. Thank you, Jill. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Again, Nadia Shukari with the Waldorf Astoria Orlando. Really excited um, to introduce to you the redesign and the multi-million uh, reimagination that we're going through right here at the Waldorf Astoria Orlando. It's actually happening right now. We've started in May. Um, just to kind of give you uh, an overview of the hotel, especially our location, the resort sits on a, a 482 acres of a beautiful and a serene nature preserve. Uh, we're also near and surrounded by Disney parks with access to um, complimentary uh, fireworks to all of our groups, our guests staying with us. Uh, we are also a Disney official hotel, uh, which means uh, you would have access to anything that has to do with Disney from, um, you know, for individual and group um, uh, early entries to the parks to a, a luxury motor coach uh, transportation as well as any Disney entertainment and event production, offsite event at select Disney theme park venues, uh, including the Disney Institute, which is a, a fantastic program that helps with content for your meetings, um, anything that has to do with leadership and organization, which is an offer that's only offered to Disney um, hotels or Disney official hotels. Um, to the next. So we're excited to announce the reimagination of the Waldorf Astoria, which is, as I mentioned, is happening right now. These projects uh, mark the largest enhancements to the property since we opened in 2009 and will usher a new era of a luxury for Orlando. Our transformation uh, is done by a well-known uh, design company, Parker Tours Design, which works with some major brands like Fairmont, Hilton, Marriott. Their portfolio of projects include the Ritz, Carlton, Marina Del Rey, the Boston Plaza, Park Plaza, the Phoenician, uh, which is a luxury collection resort in Scottsdale, as well as some really well-known clubs in, in food and beverage uh, and country spa, or sorry, country clubs and spas. Um, starting with our lobby, as you can see from the picture, the in, the clock will stay, which is the iconic timepiece uh, that is part of our luxury brand, and it's a heritage that's always been celebrated here at the Waldorf. Our design concept is an inspiration uh, comes from our um, organic lines of the landscape of our natural textures and uh, the preserve that we have right outside of our building. The new look is very sophisticated, very modern, and very welcoming, as you can see from the picture. The next rendering here shows Peacock Alley. The inspiration comes from the Waldorf Astoria in New York. So you're gonna hear a lot of the names that you probably have heard and familiar with. Uh, Peacock Alley, Oscar, Sue Harry's, um, uh, um, as well as uh, Bull and Bear, which we'll get to as well. Uh, Peacock Alley is our sophisticated lobby bar. Um, it's getting a major, um, makeover to carry on the same look and feel of the rest of the lobby. Uh, our goal is to make this space the signature bar and for social as well as business gatherings. This is where the deals will be happening. Um, our team has created a fantastic uh, seasonal, um, you know, cocktails as well as just small bites um, that will be available as well as uh, we're bringing back our royal tea time as well as a chocolate bar that our um, pastry chef is, is excited about and that's something that's going to be available for our transient guests as well as groups. Bull and Bear. Uh, Bull and Bear is named one of the top 100 restaurants in the U.S. by Open Table, also top five restaurants in Orlando and TripAdvisor. Highly personalized service incorporates tableside presentation, um, an innovation of the Waldorf in New York. As I mentioned, Bull and Bear presents an extend, extensive award-winning wine list. The restaurant has received so many awards. Uh, we're actually going for potentially our Michelin star, and that's something we're working on. 
Um, we have been recognized as a AAA Four Diamond Award restaurant, TripAdvisor Certificate of Excellent Hall of Fame Award, uh, Wine Spectacular um, Award of Excellence, Florida Trend Golden Spoon, and Orlando F Foodie Award for Best Steakhouse here in Orlando. We are connected to um, the Signia by Hilton Bonnie Creek, which is formerly known as Hilton Bonnie Creek. So with that, you have access to all the amenities the complex can offer from, you know, the amenities like the pools, the, uh, the lazy river, as well as all the other um, like the fitness center. But really, we have 13 on-site unique dining outlets that you can take advantage of and your groups can take advantage of. So in addition to the Bull and Bear Peacock Alley um, at the Waldorf Aquamarine is the Waldorf Restaurant, as well as Oscars, we do have another six or seven outlets at the Signia that you would have access to. In addition to our grab and go marketplace at both properties, a golf club house, which is also another venue, um, as well as, as our in-room dining. We do us also have a food truck uh, that's available to our transient guests, as well as groups, especially for receptions, and we use it a lot in our door space. Our guest rooms, we're getting a major renovation as well. The, the, the project will start by the end of July of this year. It, it will be done by December of 2023. We have 502 bright and serene guest rooms, 171 luxurious suites. We have the highest suite count in the luxury set here in Orlando. Um, our suites consist of, most of them have balconies. Uh, we do have three presidential suites and most of them do connect to other standard rooms as well as other suites. So there is a, a, a huge amount of, of upgrade opportunities within the hotel. Um, perfect for the incentive groups, uh, perfect for social events, um, as we have plenty of this of suites that we can offer. The spa is also getting a makeover. Uh, we do have 22 treatment rooms. We're adding another salt room. It's, it's so famous that we are adding another room. Uh, this should be done or should start in September, and it should be done by the end of October of this year. The Waldorf Astoria Golf Club, an award-winning golf uh, course named Top Courses that You Can Play in Orlando. It's an 18-hole championship golf course designed by Reese Jones. Uh, we have completed, uh, we're actually in the process of renovating the course. We've done already the back nine and we're working on the front nine right now. And that should be done by the end of October of this year. Our meeting space. So uh, we finished actually our meeting space. It's completely done and it's been renovated. We have 62,000 square feet of total meeting space. Um, the newest, the new space that we have is Central Park Ballroom, which is close to 9,000 square feet. It, it is also attached to an outdoor space, our Central Park Gardens, which is about 6,000 square feet. In addition to another ballroom, the Grand Ballroom, uh, which is 8,000 square feet, it divides into two rooms plus additional meter rooms that we have on the lower level. We have six outdoor venues. Um, we also have access to the space that's connected to um, with the Signia, which is over 260,000 square feet of meeting space that you would have access to. So you never run out of space here at the Bonnie Creek. Just some pictures of our space. This is an outside picture of, uh, to get into the Central Park. The good thing about this space, you have access to it from outside as well as inside. This is a picture of our pre-function uh, space of the Central Park ballroom. This is the actual ballroom, which also divides into eight sections. And this is just a rendering of our recently renovated, uh, one of the small breakout rooms. Um, we just completed that. One thing I wanted to highlight to the group, and I know everybody's got rooms and space and it looks beautiful, but really something that we're known here for at the Waldorf Astoria is our um, food and beverage experience. It's, it's the experiences that we provide to our groups. Just wanted to highlight a couple examples 
of some of the events that we can put together for you and your groups. Um, you know, mixology here is we take that very seriously. We do have a master of mixology or mixologist, Christina, who pretty much puts a uh, her job is to put together menus for mixology. Um, she's got about 17 or 18 drinks so far that she put together. Um, but this is something that we we can do for a group of 10 people or a group of 3000 people. Uh, we do have the props on property. You don't have to worry about getting that for your groups. Um, and you can just uh, make sure that you have, you know, uh, the content and everything else, and we'll we'll make sure we take care of the setup for you. One thing, one other experience that we just um, did recently is the Harmonary. Uh, we put together, and this, again, it could be for 10 people up to 200 people. Uh, we brought in uh, some Grammy Award uh, songwriters uh, to the property, and uh, we did some food and beverage pairing uh, with some of the stories from both the songwriters as well as our chef and our food and beverage director. It was a, it was a great hit, um, and we've had so many groups that wanted to um, have this experience for their groups. So it's something that we're we're going to keep enhancing and keep adding to. Um, again, it's all about the experience that we provide to our groups. The chocolate uh, picture that you have in there, it's something that we've done for groups as an interactive experience. Um, it's an activity that you can do as a, as a group. You could do it for, again, 10 people. You could do it for up to 200. Um, so again, we're open. We're here to customize anything you want us to do. Um, and we have the team to do it. Our banquet team, our food and beverage team, uh, won the team of, of, of the year with Hilton a couple of years ago. Uh, our chef is a master chef of France, um, and we have a very talented and innovative team that we trust uh, that can put a really, really um, exciting um, events for you. Um, and that's all I have for the Waldorf. Um, I wanted to share, Jill and I, we're going to be sending out an email right after this call uh, to uh, the team. Uh, we do have a little contest or a little giveaway. Uh, we will send out a survey with a couple questions and um, the winner will get a couple nights with us here to get to experience both properties and have an Orlando experience and more to come on that. I know we only have a few minutes left, but we'd love to open it up for any questions. Of course. Does anyone have any questions? I know that I answered a couple in the chat. So um, just so you, um, I don't know if everyone so, saw those, but Leslie was asking about blackout shades in the um, in the breakout rooms that have the natural light. They do all have blackout curtains in there. So um, you won't be disturbed if you're having a very private meeting. And then um, she had questions about the Evermore side, which I went ahead and um, provided information for the number of units and, and rooms that are over on that side. Um, the providing a link to the recording of the presentation, Sheldon, I that's you're going to be doing that. I saw that you were recording it. Yeah, I'm recording it. Perfect. So will you send that out to everybody on the call when you're done? Yes. Perfect. Um, so what are the distances to the theme parks? Um, so I, I know for the Conrad, we are adjacent to Disney. We actually, um, we border Disney for three miles. So it just depends on what theme park you're going to. The closest one to us is Epcot. So it's, it's really um, probably like a 10, 10 minute drive. Um, Disney Springs is probably the closest to us. Um, just to give you kind of a an indication there. And I see Nadia, you had said 10 minutes as well. Yeah, like I mean, you, you mentioned, you know, it depends on the par the parks. I think the uh, most of them are within 10 minutes, with the exception of Magic Kingdom. It's a little bit out there, about 15 or 20 minutes from my, from here. But we do have the shuttle service that take you to all the parks, including Spring, uh, Disney Springs, sorry. And Leslie, I'm sorry, you had your hand up. Yes, I was just asking, um, what um, is the largest number for group that you can handle amongst your um, your two hotels, plus adding Bonnet Creek and Signia? And um, 
is that a large group? So I'm just curious. Um, so I don't, we haven't talked, we haven't talked about it for all, th are you talking about all three properties? Okay. Um, I know it's, I mean, as far as rooms are concerned for a group, we've taken groups that have done a buyout. So all 433 guest rooms, um, depending on time of year and pattern and, and so forth. Um, and then in our grand ballroom, we can accommodate, you know, up to 1,200 people theater style, but really a meet and feed that's a good number for us is about 300 to 325 meet feed. If you have that many rooms, you could take everything. But when you're saying sharing with um, Bonnet Creek and Waldorf, it, you know, I guess it would depend, but I would assume Waldorf and Signia would be the main headquarters and then, you know, use us for anything additional, but yep. go ahead, Nadia. Yeah, um, in, in regards to just uh, hotels individually for Waldorf, we could do, I mean, a total buyout. We're open to that as well. And we've gotten a, a couple of those just in the last few weeks. Um, as far as the ideal group size for us for Waldorf is, you know, 250 to 300 rooms on peak uh, with a meeting for about 350 max, uh, where you can have the meet and feed um, space. Um, as far as a complex, um, you know, again, full buyout, 1,500 rooms on peak, we, we would do that. Um, ideally, you know, if we were to um, leave some rooms for our transient, we were, talk we're talking about 900 rooms at Signia, 300 at Waldorf, um, and we can do up to 2,500, 3,000 people um, for both properties. Okay. Perfect. Who would be in charge of a of a the complex? Like if I mean, you'd be like talking the with both me and Nadia. There's not a okay. single contact. Yeah. It's, okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you would you. be. We're we're still um handled separately. Okay. Thanks. But John Punzenberger can step in and help you out, or Andy Paschke. <laughs> yeah. Okay. They would be I'm your one be... single point of contact, if you will. There he is. Yes, <laughs> hi, I'm here. Hi. I'm here. And then um. Yeah, Andy was gonna give me a call today or tomorrow, so it's I'm gonna come out and see this. Yeah, this, I would love that. Stuff is, yeah, I'm looking forward We'd to it. We'd love it. Yeah, come on out. Any other questions out there that we might have missed? Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you so much, everyone. Thank you for a group presentation, Gio and Nadia. It was great. Thank yeah, you, everybody. absolutely. Appreciate Thanks it. for attending today, everybody. We appreciate it. Look out for an email from me or Nadia with the questions so that you can yeah. win a trip and stay with both of our hotels when you next come to Orlando.